everyone, welcome back to a very sunny day here in Paris. Do you mind? <laughs> I'm doing an intro here. <laughs> I'm just on a bit of a walk because today is kind of my last proper day that I have off before I start full-time French school. I decided to take French classes because I really, really, really want to nail the French language. And by nail, <laughs> I mean be able to say more than just like bonjour and baguette. But yeah, the reason that I need to take classes is basically because I <laughs> told someone I love you rucksack yesterday instead of I love your rucksack. That wasn't great. I also ordered a coffee in a boulangerie this morning and got two, so <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Not the worst mistake, but could become quite expensive in the long run. Also, I may or may not, <laughs> emphasis on may, have extended my trip. Guilty, because I just love it here so much. Anyways, how about we just start with a morning musical montage thing. Hello, I have made it home now and basically I'm shattered today and I haven't really done anything But to be honest, it's entirely my fault. It's entirely self-sabotage because I did in fact <laughs> Watch five episodes of Squid Game last night in a row and I'm not sorry about it I feel like once you get past episode four, that's it. You're hooked and they got me they got me again, so I loved it and I really really enjoyed it But I'm really excited to let you know that today's video is actually very kindly sponsored by Surfshark And it's really silly actually how this um, collaboration came about. It's it's a funny story So I was already using Surfshark anyway because when I do work and stuff I quite often go and sit in coffee shops or go to cafes and use public Wi-Fi which kind of puts you at risk of uh, Hackers, I, I, they don't use guns. What what do they use? I literally <laughs> I have no freaking idea That's why I am probably be quite likely to get hacked, but not when I use Surfshark because Surfshark is a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network and what they mean in normal human people terms is that they encrypt the data that you are putting onto the internet, meaning that anyone who tried to access what you were doing would not be able to. So I absolutely swear by that anyway. And then basically I was being a little bitch and <laughs> I was complaining on Twitter that I missed UK television and my shows that I was watching on UK Netflix that aren't available here in France. Like I was halfway through a few seasons and I couldn't finish them. And then our pals over at Surfshark were like, Jack, we can help you with that. You can literally change your location using Surfshark and then you can use any country's version of websites like Netflix. So now you're never gonna see me again because I am just gonna be binge watching every show ever. So then of course I was like, Surfshark, the people need to know about this. And they said, Jack, you're so right. We're gonna make you the Oprah Winfrey of VPNs by giving you the most insane discount I've ever heard of. And basically using this little code right here that I'll pop on the screen, hopefully if I remember, you can get 83% off a premium Surfshark membership and three extra months free. Actually editing Jack here, it's actually been increased to four months free for Black Friday. So the deal of the century. So you can use this code at this link and I'll also link it down below in the description box. And yes, there is more. Surfshark also has a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning not only are they protecting you from horrible hackers, they're also really great with their customers. So thank you so, so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. I love ya and um, check it out down below. Now, would you like a house tour? I know what you're thinking, Jack, didn't you just move into a flat that wasn't this one. Yes, that is true, but basically, <laughs> maybe this sounds stupid, but because I am living alone and I'm staying in fully furnished apartments, I basically was worried that it was quite obvious where I was living and that kind of just freaks me out, makes me feel uncomfortable. And your house is meant to be your safe space, right? And so I am basically taking this as an opportunity to just explore lots of different areas in Paris and I'm just moving around like every 10 days. And then I'm only posting content from apartments that I've already moved out of. So basically that means I can show you these places in all their glory without having any worries because basically I was just like if someone broke in here and murdered me like no one would know for a while basically yeah anyway that's just a personal thing for me um, just so that I feel comfortable but um, let's do a house tour so this is my bedroom and I have achieved what I did not manage to achieve in the last flat and that is actually putting my clothes away and taking them out of the suitcase so that my friends is a win that is growth that is character development very nice walk-in shower big fan of that and then this is the main sort of room so these two beds both pull out as uh, sofa beds and then 
big table and a little kitchen over here. So um, it's a lot smaller than the previous place, but I really like it. And these mirrors, which <laughs> allow you to just see sort of the top of your head. Oh, and how could I forget these beams? Look at the ceiling. This is incredible. I love this detail. So I bought this hummus earlier. And um, if you don't know what the French word for daylight robbery is, it's hummus extra. Because what the hell? This hummus was like five euros. But do you see the sign that says offer? There's like, there's like a sign on it that says offer, right? And it said like 60% off. So I was like, right, okay, I would never in a million years pay <laughs> five euros for hummus. But because it's on offer and it's 60% off, I'm gonna try the five euro hummus. So I take it to the checkout. I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself. Today's a good day. The machine comes up, six euros, six euros. More expensive than advertised and no 60% off anyway. And I was like, I don't know what to do at this point because <laughs> I don't know how to say to someone like how to explain the situation. So I just paid for it like a mug. Stack me in that kitchen cupboard because I am a mug. And it didn't even taste good. <laughs> That's the saddest part. It didn't even taste good. Anyway, so that was my um, expensive hummus story. And I will never be doing that ever again. I'm going for the cheapest option as I always do. I don't know why I stepped out of my comfort zone. I <laughs> should just keep going for the cheapest option. Um, and that's a foolproof plan. This is today's OOTD. T-shirt is from Collusion. Shirt is from Arquette. Ring is Mason Margiela. These trousers are from Nguyen. And then the shoes are these little beauties. Oh, and my little Prada book bag, which just has a copy of Call Me By Your Name in it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this book, actually. I have been underlining the shit out of it because it is full of beautiful lines. And it's just all about yearning, and I think it might be approaching five-star territory, you know, I'm not sure yet. So I want to be honest with you right now Hashtag honesty hour <laughs> because basically I think that I've shared a very romanticized Perfect version of my time traveling alone and like while I have had a fantastic time There are also some struggles <laughs> that I've encountered and they're like minor, but I wanted to speak about them I feel like we'll refer to them as teething issues <laughs> That feels like that feels like a good way to refer to them. <laughs> Firstly, joining a gym. Why was joining a gym the hardest thing I've ever done? So the first gym I joined, I arrived for my induction and we're walking around, we're having a look around the gym and I'm like, haven't seen any dumbbells yet. <laughs> haven't seen any weights. And so I said to the guy like, oh, where are the dumbbells? And he was like, oh, um, we're actually not getting the dumbbells delivered until uh, the end of December. The end of December. And in my very polite, non-confrontational way, I was just like, oh, cool. Yeah, fine. Not an issue. Not a problem. It was an issue. <laughs> it was a problem. Because <laughs> like for me personally, I like running. I like renting a bike and cycling outside out of the house. Because, especially because I live alone, it's quite nice to have a reason to just go and get some fresh air and have a purpose and be able to basically see all the landmarks in one go because I can just walk and um, run all the way down the river, which is lovely. Anyway, so I have cardio like covered. That's not a problem. The dumbbells and stuff is the thing that I don't have. And so that was the whole reason I was joining the gym. <laughs> so the fact they didn't have that was a major issue. So um, I never went back after the induction. Instead, I joined a different gym, which was like quite far away from here, not gonna lie. But I joined that gym because I was like, oh, it's closer to my next apartment. Like it will um, be worth it in the long run. Anyways, tell me why on Google online, it says open like 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. I get there and it doesn't exist. I trek all the way to this gym and it doesn't exist. It's gone, it's disappeared, it's been closed since 2020. And by closed, I mean demolished. It's not there, it's a cafe now. And this same thing happened the other day because I tried to go to a co-working space. So I went across Paris to this um, co-work space that I'd found, it's called Co-Workshop. And online, again on Google, it says open, open for business. It's not, <laughs> it is not open for business. I went there and it was so closed. Like there wasn't even furniture in the building. It is. It is gone. So like, why is no one updating <laughs> Google with these things? Like, how are we meant to know, unless we walk past these places, that they are not actually there? Anyway, I have now joined a gym and it's fine. And I've been working in coffee shops and it's fine. It's not a problem. The other issue that I've encountered is that I have signed up for French lessons, but I, <laughs> I signed up for level two because they didn't start for a whole month and I thought, right, that's one month of literally living in France, like the most immersive experience you could possibly have. I'll probably be able to pick up enough in a month. Like if I dedicate enough time to it, um, I'll be at level two by the time the course starts. Well, French is so hard, so hard. Like I know that languages are hard. Don't get me wrong. Like I know that it's difficult to learn a new language, but holy moly, my 
my mouth doesn't want to do the thing. It does not want to do the French noises. And it's been a real issue. <laughs> and so I've spent so long trying to tackle that, that I feel like I haven't really learned that much like vocabulary. I've been trying to work on the accent and like just using what I have learned so far on like language learning apps like Babbel. And I am not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for a level two course. I'm very much level zero. So I've been emailing them. <laughs> every day being like, hi, could I please maybe change to the level one course? And they just have not been responding to me. So I don't know what to do because it's getting closer and closer to the day this course starts and I'm getting more and more fearful. <laughs> the fear levels are increasing. I'm quite stressed and I'm nervous about going to the class and just being so out of my depth and looking like an absolute spanner. So that's fun. I'm gonna keep um, emailing them and just <laughs> hoping for the best. The other thing is that none of my plugs obviously fit into the walls because they're all UK plugs. So I bought adapters and then I bought an extension lead over from the UK. I had it shipped to me from the UK and then <laughs> Literally, five minutes into using my new extension lead and being able to charge all my devices in one go, I knocked it off the table and broke it. So now we're back to square one. Now I, <laughs> now I can only charge one device at a time. And like, it's not really an issue, but, but it also is. Anyways. So this is exciting, and I have a plan for tonight. Basically, I have made a friend who's a playwright, which is so freaking cool, by the way. And we are going to a literary cafe for dinner. It's called Le Du Mago. I mean, listen, get me a job chopping me, because I butchered that. Yeah, so it's called Le Du Mago, and it's basically this cafe that Albert Camus and James Joyce and Ernest Hemingway used to go to. Just all the literary greats, and also painters like Pablo Picasso. Very, very cool, and so I am excited to go and have a look. 